the 113th Rhode Island Amateur being held at beautiful Ledgemont Country Club in Seekonk. The golf course is in fantastic condition. Uh, just a pleasure to play. Dr. George Perry, a former winner, and is thrilled with his opening round 77 in an attempt to advance to match play. Well, I've got uh, vertigo, and I had two different kinds of vertigo at one time. So, uh, very difficult to even swing. It's been five weeks. So just to be out here to even swing is an accomplishment. So my goal was to break 80, and I shot 77. Numerous former winners looking to add another Rhode Island Am title to the resume, like Bobby Leopold, who had the great tee shot on the par 3 15th, and he would make the birdie. It's long, I think, for, you know, the par 3s are long. You got It tests every club in your bag, which, you know, which is what, what you want um, out here as a you know, good player, and I think it's going to... I think it'll play into the hands of the longer hitter just because of how soft it is, but yeah, we'll see. Then a nice par saving chip on the 16th. Despite a bogey on the 18th hole, he is in good position at one over. Yeah, some of it was really good. Some of it was really bad. Um, but, you know, it's hard when it's the first two rounds. You know you're kind of just trying to plod along and not make any mistakes, see where your game's at, and then wait for match play to really, you know, get it going. But I felt like I played, you know, probably nine good holes and nine bad ones. Despite a bogey on the 18th hole, he is in good position at one over. Saver is playing partner Jake Bauer, who missed all of the greens in regulation on the backside, but able to get up and down most of the time. Here, the save on 18. I'm pre yeah, I'm pretty sure I missed every green on the back, but I mean, I just trust that my short game would help me, and I had a few testers for par, especially on 18, I had like a five footer. But um, I trusted my putting, trusted my chipping, and just sort of scrambled one out. Group of the day, perhaps the young phenom, Patrick Welsh, with the defending champion, Billy Forcier, and the former champ, Paul Quigley. I played with Paul last year, and he, he just grinds it out. He does not make any mistakes. I mean, he may not be the farthest, but he grinds it out, and he plays really well. And today, Billy grinded it out, too. And uh, it was a fun day, though. It was a fun group, you know, really good players. And, um, you know, it was a simple round, just hit. Just try to make a simple hit around the green, try to be really aggressive, and um, just try to shoot a good number, really. Welsh, a one under to take the lead with the par save on the ninth, his 18th hole. One under 70, the best round of the morning. The defending champion solid with an even par 71. Any uh, different approach this year coming to this one? Or what, huh? <laughs> Things are definitely a little different in my life, that's for sure. In the afternoon flight, Jamie Lukowitz just misses a bird on the second. He ended up at even par. That's four shots behind the leader, his playing partner, the winner from two years ago, Davis Chatfield. The best round of the day, a four under 67. And nearly a birdie here on the second. Chatfield, a one shot lead on Matt Broom and two shots on Tyler Cook. Welsh, three back. Of course, the goal just to make match play, but some looking for medalist honors on Tuesday. I kind of want to be the number one seed. It's not really normal that for a number one seed to win, and I just thought that it would be a good goal for me to do that. A medalist doesn't always win and doesn't tend to win, so uh, not that you don't want it. You just you know, you'd rather be you know, second or third. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I want to take the challenge, you know, just be number one. And... No, 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 no. The veterans superstitious, the young guns not so much really just to make it to match play, you know, save save the birdies, save all the good shots for uh, for match play. That's when they're most needed. For a complete look at all your scores, visit rigalinks.org. I'm Don Coyne reporting.